Dan Tresmer is the founding partner of On Path Financial. They are based out of the Western suburbs, but they work nationally, maybe even internationally. Just that nationally. Is, Just nationally. Na yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring it back in there. So thank you so much for being here, Dan. You are a wealth of knowledge as an expert in the financial planning industry, and I'm so thrilled to introduce you to our viewers. This is great. Thank you for having me. I think people are, they are raised, they grow up, they start making money, they know to save. But the reality is, is as I had to learn the very hard lesson, you can't just make good money and ultimately hit a certain level of status, right? Your money has to work for you. Absolutely. So if I make money and I put it in the bank, I'm not doing myself the service of letting my money make money and having somebody to advise. So tell me a little bit more about why, I know why, but why do people really need to consider aligning themselves with a fantastic financial planner to help them achieve their goals? Thanks for the question. It's a great question. And I think there's a lot of parallels, I think, between what you do and what I do, right? And I think where it starts with when you're doing it well is really that consultative guidance, right? Our job is first and foremost is to listen, to, to ask good questions, and really get at the heart of what is is uh what is truly on the mind where where do the clients truly want to go once you know that the the transaction whether it's in my world investments in your world real estate it really is that's just the means to the end the transaction is not the is not the the part the heart of the relationship the heart of the relationship is really that uh, starting with that that guidance and that questioning like i think knowledge is something that is is maybe discounted. Listen, in, in your world, in my world, there's a lot of self-service options out there right yep. now, right? So if somebody's gonna hire us, if somebody's gonna engage with us, there should be true value there. And I think that the the knowledge base, sometimes, uh, sometimes folks discount uh, how complicated our worlds can be. And it's why the world works, right? We all do what we do for a reason. What, what really builds on that knowledge is experience, right? I mean, we're far from old. <laughs> But we've seen we've seen a lot. We've that. seen a lot, though, right? Yes. We we have seen a lot in our respective careers, and just think through whether it's housing markets or financial markets. Boy, there've you, been a lot of roller coaster rides <laughs> in there. Let's just remember that. And and you can't discount the learning and the knowledge that that comes out of that, right? And I think that is so important. And I think again, a good expertise, a, a good experience, professional. Boy, you, you just can't learn that. You can't learn that, that out of a book. And I think that's important. I, I don't know if you see this in your world, but you know, in our world, in, in and I can understand how this happens, but clients tend to have what I kind of refer to as a recency bias, right? Good or bad, right. what is what is happening now, they have a way of just extrapolating that and, and just thinking, well, that's the new normal. That's the way that the world is gonna be. And as you and I know, if things are really good, they're not gonna stay really good forever. And not if, but when things are challenging, yep. we always get on the other side of that. And I think being able to be by their side and help them think through um, and traverse whatever that is that comes with, with knowledge, that comes with experience, right? I, lo I love that you said that. I, I was raised, I've talked about this before, I was raised in an environment where there was such a pressure for perfection. Mm -hmm. It is now a word that I say is, I, I hate the word perfect because there is no such thing. But I was raised with that and it wasn't really until I got into business that I started to realize that as an as advisor, my best growth came in a time in which the the adversities were happening right mm, absolutely that's when i was growing my first and i i really talk about the idea of failing forward right yeah. because to be the best at what we do we have to fall down because if we fall down that means we challenged ourselves that hard and then it's how we get up how we rebuild and how we keep marching on and as you said you're almost three decades i'm two and a half that's a lot of state falling down, getting back up, empowering through the market and doing it in alignment with the people that we represent. Absolutely. I think the last key of that too, and, and I know you believe in this, is that when, when this consultative approach to what we do works really, really well, it's in the context of a team, right? A team is everything. Realtor, financial advisor, CPA, mortgage broker, each having the client's best interests at heart, totally. each staying in their lane, 
uh, each communicating with one another. That's really, really powerful. No, and that's what a, the, the thing I've always appreciated about your approach is, is really making sure that you've got a great team around your clients. And again, we at OnPath try to do the same thing. My philosophy is always, I love diversification, yes. right? Real estate is my passion and it's also my profession. And I love to invest in real estate. But for me, it's not just about buying one house with cash. I want to have multiple different, a portfolio of homes that are generating income in their own way yeah, Absolutely. while we're diversifying with you. So for me, I love the lending vehicle because it gives me more bandwidth, but you're correct. It, it really depends on what somebody's circumstances. Yeah. I mean, le le leverage when it comes to real estate is a powerful thing, right? It really is. And I think we're going to, in, in, in this little blip that we've had with higher interest rates, um, it's, it's going to be short lived, you know, we're going down. You know, maybe we don't get back down to the twos again, and that, that would be okay. Uh, but a mortgage and using leverage to build wealth uh, is uh, uh, very common, not cavalier at all. It's a great way uh, to build a, a portfolio of real estate. It really is. As I always say, those those lower interest rates were a, a cause or an effect. Let me rephrase that. They were an effect of world catastrophe. Yeah, absolutely. So, so one last question. I know a lot of people are sometimes intimidated about engaging in a financial planner. They think that they're not quite at the level where they need planning. Yeah, I don't have enough yet. Right? Yeah, I'm yeah. not there yet. What would you say? When would you most ideally like a young professional reaching out to you? The earlier, the better, right? And I think one of the things that that we do a pretty good job of is getting that that dosage right. You know, this is not a one size fits all industry, one size fits all relationship. And oftentimes we're able to customize that solution to what people need. And again, we've got a, a, a great team of financial advisors. So, you know, maybe they don't need somebody uh, with the experience that, that I have, but we've got a wonderful team. It's always the earlier, the better. Yep. And I, and I do say never take for granted that, that you're not ready yet. Uh, because the guidance that, that anybody would be able to, to bring alongside it, it's valuable. And oftentimes, uh, just the proactive nature of that is everything. If, if, a, if something's already happened and they're bringing us in, well, at that point, sometimes it, it's too late, at least in that context, right? To provide guidance. So earlier, the better, uh, I understand how intimidating it can be. We try to make it not so much. Um, but yeah, uh, sooner the better, I always say. Awesome, Dan, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure having you here. I so appreciate being able to share you with everyone and your wealth and knowledge. And I, I hope that people feel confident to reach out to you to hear more about what you can offer. Oh, wonderful, thank you for having me.